गाइज हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू रसायन अकेडमी सो गाइज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अनदर नेम रिएक्शन टूडे एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेम रिएक्शन ठीक है द सीरीज वी हैव स्टडीड अ लॉट ऑफ रिएक्शन इन दिस सीरीज बहुत सारे अच्छे अच्छे रिएक्शन है एंड आई होप दैट यू आर फॉलोइंग ऑल ऑफ दीज वीडियोज एंड येट अनदर रिएक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टूडे बेलिस हिलमेन रिएक्शन इट्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन एंड आई होप दैट यू नो अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट दिस इट हैज ऑल्सो बीन आस वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ सी एस आई नेट जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ऑल राइट सो द क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक टूडे इट हैज बीन आस्ट बेस्ड ऑन दिस नेम रिएक्शन ओके सो लेट्स फर्स्ट डिस्कस वट इज द मेकेनिज्म एंड देन विल सी द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट सो ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल प्लीज डू यू आर गोइंग टू गेट मेनी सच वीडियोज विच आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन योर एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन ऑल राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस Uh, name reaction now first thing guys just try to understand this reaction in the most simplest uh, language as possible because then only it will be easy to remember so it is a carbon carbon bond forming transformation of an electron poor alkene with a carbon electrophile so what is happening a carbon carbon bond is forming in between the electron poor alkene with a carbon electrophile so who is the electron poor alkene who is the carbon electrophile let's see that first so as you can see i have a aldehyde over here now i can have an aldehyde i can also have along uh, you know in place of this oxygen i can have the amine group let's say the imine group nr2 all right i can have uh, the s group also i just need unsaturation over this carbon okay so this is your carbon electrophile it will be attacked right it will be attacked by whom electron poor alkene all right so who is the electron poor alkene this one so usually you know it's easy to make a carbon carbon bond between the electron rich alkene and the electron uh, sorry uh, a carbon electrophile why if you just had a double bond like this and if you have ome over here it's easy to form this yes because then the reaction is uh, it's going to be driven in that direction it is electron rich it is electron poor easy to react however this reaction is difficult because this electron density on this double bond is very less because of conjugation like this and that is why you need a, a catalyst you need a catalytic tertiary amine over here which is dabco and many others like that we will also discuss that as well so what's happening electron deficient compound carbon electrophile this and your electron poor alkene from the alpha position they are going to make a new carbon carbon bond like this and the reaction is as if the reaction looks like as if you had a negative charge over here which attacked over this carbon and it formed the oh right isn't it this is how it looks like that you have a negative charge over here on the alpha position and it attacked over the carbonyl you got the oh group this is how it looks like okay so let's see the mechanism very simple just try to remember in the easiest way possible carbon electrophile oxygen could be replaced by nr2 group by double bond s as well and this carbonyl could also be replaced by cyanide because you require electron poor alkene so this is your electron poor alkene if there is any electron withdrawing group like cyanide like your carbonyl like your ester like nitro any other minus r effect group is going to show you similar reaction okay new carbon carbon bond form all right now let's see the mechanism that what is happening in between these two and when we are talking about this basic catalyst what is this so first of all i am going to uh, discuss a little bit about the catalytic amines catalytic tertiary amines all right so guys basically you have seen this compound a lot when you have studied from cladden it appears again and again so this molecule is your dabco molecule all right it is a very basic amine conformationally logged very basic amine and uh, this is not working as a base over here dabco is not working as a base to take away a proton rather it is working as a catalyst to catalyze this reaction any more molecules like this yes there will be more tertiary amines like this just uh, um just 
remove one of the nitrogens over here this is another tertiary amine and along with that you can have another tertiary amine like this okay All right, this is your sp2 carbon. All right, so basically it's going to be like this. Yes. So ये क्या है? This is your catalytic tertiary amine which could be used. Now moving onwards to the reaction mechanism. Let's see what is happening in this reaction. Right. First thing, you are going to take your electron poor alkene, and what was that? It was your alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl molecule. Now, how is the reaction taking place when it is electron poor? How is it reacting? It is reacting because of DAPCO. Let's see. So, DAPCO is from this nitrogen. It is doing the Michael addition. So, remember the steps. First step. All right. Just easy way. Try to remember this in the most easy way. First step is Michael addition. Yes. Just like this. first step is michael addition if you have any other group let's say nitro or let's say cyanide then also you can call it conjugate addition yes so conjugate addition to this double bond it's going to give you this molecule the enolate molecule right new bond formed between these two uh, nitrogens of the dapco okay nitrogen gets a positive charge now what happens is after the michael addition you see that you have got the enolate like intermediate now the enolate like intermediate can do an aldol reaction yes or no you see this is very simple on the carbon electrophile whether it is oxygen amine or uh, sulfur group it is still a carbon electrophile this could attack from the alpha position like this okay so that is why you are going to get this kind of a molecule o minus right i'm not uh, let's say i'm writing the hydrogen over here this is your new carbon carbon bond which has formed from over here okay and the nitrogen is still connected the nitrogen is still connected from the dapco still having a positive charge okay now what's going to happen guys you have one more acidic proton in the medium right and this acidic proton will be lost like this to this carbonyl and it is going to be gained by the o minus so you can directly write minus h plus and plus h plus so that you get this molecule all right you get o minus over here once again the enolate like intermediate your dapco molecule still connected with the nitrogen having a positive charge like this okay now it's a very easy process the o minus is going to push away the dapco because its work is done and it has bonded uh, formed a new carbon carbon bond over here so this is your new molecule with a double bond like this now this is your overall reaction starting from the electron deficient alkene to your carbon electrophile in the presence of dapco molecule or any other catalytic tertiary amine you are getting this product okay the new carbon carbon bond formation is right over here as simple as that this is a very simple reaction bailis hillman reaction now let's see that how it has been asked in your csi net examination okay so this question was asked in csir net june 2012 uh, june 2019 paper okay yes now the question is a major product of the following reaction sequence is so what do you see guys you see that there is a cho molecule and let's say we write the whole group as ar group this is your aromatic group let's say we write it like this and then you have a cho okay in the previous example that we did we have taken the phenyl group now along with that you have ch2 ch coo me so do you have a electron deficient alkene yes we do this is our electron deficient alkene right who is the catalyst dapco is the catalyst what is the dapco going to do 
you can just uh, stop the video because now you know the mechanism so you can just write the mechanism on your own and check all right this is how the dapco is going to first attack on the uh, alpha beta unsaturated compound or let's say the electron poor alkene you call it the michael addition step the first step will be the michael addition step all right this is how it looks you get the enolate type intermediate in this way and the o minus is going to attack on the aldehydic group so this is your carbon electrophile now shall i write the product directly because you know what is going to be formed this will this is your aldol step so let's say i'm writing the product directly because now you know what is going to be the product this is going to be the product from the alpha position always remember this is going to be connected from the alpha position so this is going to be the product of the first step all right not the second step this is the product of the first step the first step is your baylis hillman reaction okay what about the second one guys b and nh2 so this is benzyl amine what is the benzyl amine going to do it's a nucleophile itself isn't it yes can, does it want to take away a proton where will it take away a proton from either this oh but that's not going to lead to any reaction hence it does the alpha beta it does the michael addition itself and it gives you this molecule oh the enolate like intermediate nh2 and bn group there is a positive charge on the nitrogen so plus hydrogen minus hydrogen karke you are going to get the same thing you are going to get this o minus protonated and your final product is uh, going to look like this okay so carbonyl ome and here you are getting the nh bn okay this is your final product so you finally got the michael addition from the amine over here this is your final product so this is your whole aromatic group as it is the carbon converted to oh and made a new carbon carbon bond from the alpha position of your um um this electron poor alkene and then after that you got the michael addition so answer is option number 1 this is your correct answer why are the other ones wrong because first of all see in option number 2 what's happening the nhbn is not going to attack over this carbonyl and remove the methoxy why because because whenever there is a possibility whenever there is a possibility like this even if there is an ester or any other thing the first attack would take place on the double bond because double bond because of resonance is becoming more electron deficient than the carbonyl carbon okay so always always uh, try to remember this what is the catch over here that whenever you are having the alpha beta unsaturated ester or carbonyl or any other molecule the carbonyl carbon is not as electron poor as the alkene carbon okay because the electron density goes like this always take care of this right this is more electron deficient as compared to this carbonyl carbon okay so that's why the nucleophile attacks over here not on the carbonyl this is wrong okay now what about this one oh cannot be directly replaced like this because oh that also on the benzylic position is not a good leaving group okay the same um yes what happens over here now fluorine fluorine is there on the meta position to this group okay so fluorine cannot be th this is kind of trying to show you that maybe there is a uh snar mechanism going on over here but the fluorine was there on the meta position this was the position of fluorine so even if a ring forms it is not going to take place right so this is also wrong okay so your answer is option number 1 and i hope that you have uh, liked this video and if you did please uh, 
share it with your friends and please also subscribe to the channel and i hope that i'm going to see you in another such video till then keep studying guys and also you can suggest you can ask me in the comment section that whichever name reaction you are not able to understand we can continue with that one all right and uh, also there's one more important information that in the telegram group i am distributing out some of the assignments okay so check out those assignments whichever you are not able to understand either we will discuss uh, those assignments on an academy or maybe i'll make a video on that as well okay so yes check out those assignments and i'll see you on another video on rasayan academy and regularly on an academy all right guys bye have a nice day